टेन लैक ट्वेंटी परसेंट इज टू लैख इन द फर्स्ट ईयर बैलेंस इज एट लैख ट्वेंटी परसेंट का एट लैख इज रिड्यूसिंग बैलेंस मेथड ऑन वन लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड प्रॉब्लम यू हैव टू टेक दिस कैश इन फ्लो सो फर्स्ट फॉर्म ना कैश इन फ्लो माइनस डिप्रिसिएशन माइनस टैक्स वेज दैट इज अ प्रॉफिट एड बैक डिप्रिसिएशन दैट इज यूर कैश इन फ्लो Investment, investment divided by two. What's your investment? Ten lakh. No salary divided by two. It works out five lakh. Hello, my dear students. I am Dr. B S Subramanya. Call my name, Dr. B S S. Professor in Commerce and Management, Vidya Sham First Aid College, a Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Today, in this session, I am going to have. Financial Management One, Fifth Semester Unit Four, Session One, in favor of capital budgeting. So one problem will be asked for fifteen marks. So I will go detail. What are the question they are? How to answer? We'll move on. A project will cost rupees ten lakh, and will have a life of five years, and no salvage value. Cost is how much? Ten lakh. <clears throat> How many years time? Five years. Assume that tax rate is fifty percent. Depreciation under reducing balance method at twenty percent. The estimated cash inflow before depreciation and taxation for the proposed investment is this is cash inflow before depreciation and taxation. But you have to calculate cash inflow. Cash inflow. Minus depreciation, minus taxation, add back depreciation is cash inflow. How to calculate? Cash inflow minus depreciation minus taxation, add back depreciation. That is the cash inflow. You know what? What is the cost of the project? Ten lakh. Cost price. The cost price is ten lakh. Minus depreciation under reducing balance method. Minus depreciation here. See that twenty percent. Twenty percent of ten lakh is two lakh. This is first year. Balance is eight lakh. This goes to first year. Second year reducing balance method. Minus depreciation at twenty percent. Twenty percent of this is one lakh sixty thousand. Deduct six lakh forty thousand. This goes to second year minus depreciation at twenty percent on six lakh forty thousand. Six lakh forty thousand. Into twenty divided by hundred, one lakh twenty-eight thousand. Deduct five lakh twelve thousand. This is the third year minus depreciation twenty percent. On this five lakh twelve thousand five one two followed by five one two followed by three zero one two three into twenty divided by hundred one lakh two thousand four hundred deduct five lakh twelve thousand. Minus one zero two four hundred four lakh nine thousand six hundred how many years over four year minus depreciation twenty percent into twenty divided by hundred. Eighty-one thousand nine twenty. This is the fifth year. Four zero nine six hundred. 
minus 81,920, 3,27,680. So, 5 years depreciation, 10 lakh, 20 percent is 2 lakh in the first year, balance is 8 lakh, 20 percent of 8 lakh is reducing balance method on 1 lakh 60,000, the balance is 6 lakh, but this is your balance. Balance, balance, this is your balance, this is your balance. 6 lakh 40,000 on the 20 percent is 1 lakh 28,000, 5 lakh 12,000, 20 percent of this, 1 lakh 2,400, 20 percent of this, 81,920. Now, we have to move on like this, cash inflow minus depreciation minus taxation that is profit after taxation which is called net profit also then add back depreciation cash inflow now you have to calculate cash inflow in the present problem the net cash inflow is not given therefore first we have to calculate the cash inflow so they have not given the cash inflow first we have to calculate the cash inflow what is cash inflow given cash inflow before depreciation and taxation minus depreciation minus taxation add back depreciation that is your cash inflow so the cash inflow is cash inflow before depreciation and taxation then 3,20,000, 3,50,000 this is the given then depreciation you already calculated 2 lakh in the first year 1,60,000 in the second year 1,28,000 1 lakh 2400 Deduct 2 minus 3, 1 lakh 20, 1 lakh 90, 2 lakh 62, 3 lakh 97, 4 lakh 58. 50% 50 tax on this. 50% 50 means 60,000, 95,000, 1 lakh 31,000, 1 lakh 98,800, 2 lakh 29,040. This is the uh, taxation. So, profit after tax, same figure 60,000, 95,000, 1,31,000, 1,98,800, 2,29,040. Add back depreciation. What is your depreciation here? 2 lakh, 1 lakh 60, 1 lakh 20. Add no, 2 lakh plus 60,000, 2 lakh 60,000. 1 lakh 60 plus 95, 2 lakh 55,000. 1 lakh 28 plus 1 lakh 31 is 2 lakh 59,000. 1 lakh 2,400 plus 1 lakh 98,800. It becomes 3 lakh 1,200. 2 lakh 29 plus which is 3 lakh 10. This is your real cash inflow. For the entire problem, you have to take this cash inflow. So, what's formula? Cash inflow minus depreciation minus tax base that is a profit add back depreciation that is your cash inflow now we'll go with the problem now one by one first one calculation of np present value your discount factor at 10 percent is given 0 0.909 0 0.821 0 0.751 0 0.683 0 0.621 this is your cash inflow what we have calculated multiply so 2 lakh 60 here if you multiply 2 lakh 60,000 into 0.909 2 lakh 36 this is discount factor they have given 10 percent of that one this is if not 10 percent 1 divided by 1 plus r to the power of n this is 1 divided by 1.10 to the power of 1 so if we calculate for 5 years 0 0.909, 0 0.821, 0 0.7. If we multiply, so 0 0.909 into 2 lakh 60, 2 lakh 36, 340, 2 lakh 10,630. Totally cash inflow is 10 lakh 40,306. But our investment is 10 lakh only. How much positive figure will come? 40,306. The NPV is positive. Therefore, project can be accepted for investment purpose. If the answer is negative, then the project will be rejected. 
just multiply and add the figure. If the positive, if the investment direct positive value comes, project will be accepted. If the negative value comes, it can be rejected. Computation of profitability index. If you add, no, it is 10 lakh for cash inflow divided by cash outflow. 10 lakh for 3306 divided by 10 lakh. 10 lakh for 3306 divided by it works out 1.040. The profit index is more than 1. Therefore, project can be accepted. Now, come back to payback. In how many years we can get back the money? First year, cash inflow is to how much you have to get back? 10 lakh. The first year, 2 lakh 60,000. Second year, 2 lakh 55. 2 lakh 60 plus 2 lakh 55 becomes 5 lakh 15,000. Third year, 2 lakh 59,000. It becomes 7 lakh 70. So, still we have not reached the 10 lakh. First year, how much? 2 lakh 60. Second year, 2 lakh 55. If you add both now, it becomes 5 lakh 15,000 at the end of the second year. If you add 2 lakh 59,000, it becomes 7 lakh 74,000 at the end of the third year. So, in the next year, 3 years completed. Here, 7 lakhs. We want 10 lakh rupees. In the third year, we got 10 lakh rupees. In the third year, 7 lakh 70,000. How much shortage? 2 lakh 26,000 divided by yeah. totally 3 lakh 1,000. We require how much money? 2 lakh 26,000. How much we require? 3 lakh 1,200. 3 years completed plus 0.75. We can get back the money within 3.75 years. So this goes in favor of payback period. Then, accounting rate of return. So, cash inflow minus division minus cash payment. This is your profit after taxation. Come back here. What you were the RR, average annual income divided by average investment. So, what is average annual income? Total income divided by project life. Uh, total income of which um, total profit after tax. What is the total income for five years? 7,13,840. How many years? Five years. If we divide, the average will come 1,42,768. Average annual income. What is your average investment? Investment divided by two. What is your investment? 10 lakh. No survey divided by two. It works out 5 lakh. If we divide, AR accounting rate of return or average here. ARR accounting rate of return. So 1,42,768 divided by 5 lakh into 100. It works out 28.5%. How to calculate? ARR average annual income divided by average income. What is average income? Total income divided pro ex project expected life. What is your pro project income? 7,13,840 divided by how many years? 5 years. Per year it works out. 1,42,768. What is the cost of your investment? 10 lakh. No salvage value. If there is salvage, you will deduct. Divide by 2. This work out. 5 lakh. Now divide. 1,42,768 divided by 5 lakh. It will work out 28.55 percentage. Hope you understand. Competition of accounting rate of return. Payback period. In how many years we can get back? 10 lakh. First year 2 lakh 60, second year 2 lakh 50, it becomes 5 lakh 59,000, third year 2 lakh 59, it becomes 7 lakh 74,000. Still, we require how much money to make 10 lakh, how much shortage? 2 lakh 26,000. We have taken out of 3 lakh 1,200, it becomes 0.75. Totally, we require back 3.75 years. This is Yes, before recovery plus balance still to be recovered by next year's CIF, 31200 Then completion accounting rate of return. This is profit of taxation. Total income divided by project expected life, 730 divided by 5 years, 142768 Average investment, initial investment, mi minus scrap value divided by 2, 5 lakh. It work out 28.55%. Discount factor, if you not discount factor, 1 plus R to the power of N, 
we had this multiply this is your cash inflow for how many years five years actually how much investment you have done 10 lakh how much positive figure will come 40,300 when the positive NPV is positive you know project will be accepted if it's a negative project will be rejected here competition profitability total cash inflow divided by total cash flow what is total cash inflow 10 lakh 40,306 divided by 10 lakh it works for 1.04 the property index is more than one therefore the project can be accepted then this is ERR we have done. Then this is accounting rate of return. Hope oh, you understand. So four methods you have to do. One is net present value method, accounting rate of return. Then we have to return payback method. Then profit by one problem in product. Definite problem will be given. If it is a depreciation in straight line, depreciation remain constant. Depreciation. What is the depreciation value? Cost divided by life. They may give it a percentage. They may be as reduced balance, balance rate or straight line method. And if the straight line method is not given, division is called the cost divided by life. Hope you understand. One problem will come from the examination of point two. In the next session, we'll do one more problem of the same task or we can go with the, what's called last chapter called working capital management one problem will come till then goodbye meet in the next session with another problem till date hope you understand this meet you once again in the next session